Example four says the following. Uh, the surface area is 1,250 1, square miles. We are given that n equal to 7, r equal to 4 miles, the radius. The total system bandwidth is 40 megahertz. The system is full duplex channel is 50 kilohertz. One control channel per cell, no frequency reuse. So we cannot reuse the, the control uh, cells. The traffic per user is 0 0.3, 0 0.03 Erlang. And then, of course, the required grade of service would be 0 0.03 Erlang B. And now we will need to find few things here. Maximum number of users that can be served at one time. The traffic intensity of, the, of each cell. Maximum number of subscribers that can be supported within the, the grade of service. Number of subscribers per channel. These are fantastic questions to think about. Just keep in your mind that the first request, request is not statistical because it's the maximum number of users that can be supported at a given time. So to solve this question, let's think about some numbers here. The entire area that we have is um, for a hexagon, we have the, the set area is we have the radius R to be four miles. I got the following relation, the, set, the hexagon area equal to 3 times square root of 3 over 2 uh, times r squared. Now, uh, did you call it s or r? This is r in our case. So we have uh, the area. 3 times square root of 3 over 2 will give you 2.598. So this number is, these are the same. From here, I got the area of one hexagon. If, if you have the total area, I can find the number of cells that we have got. So it's 1,250 square meter, square miles, divided by 41.57, and I got 30. So this is the total number of cells. Now, the number of channels, we have 40 megahertz, total bandwidth, and every channel is 50 kilohertz. So if you divide these two numbers, you get 800 channels. So we have 30 cells, and every one of them is going to have a control channel. Those control channels are not used. So from the total number, uh, 800 channels minus 30, minus the control channels, what remains is 770 total voice channels. Those total voice channels will be divided on, will be reused every seven cells. So 770 divided by seven, I get 110. So the answer to the first question, how many users can be supported at the same time? I have 110 users per cell, and we have 30 cells. So 110 times 30 would be 3300. 0, 0. That's 3,300 users at a time. I'm using the same color here, red, and red, so you know the answer to the first part. Now, to answer the second part, uh, what is the traffic intensity in every cell? Okay, the traffic intensity, we know that um, for the traffic intensity, we know that we have 110 channels, and the protein blockage is given to be 0 0.01. So the amount of traffic that we can support, we can use Erlang B formula, and we can use the table, or we can use um, whatever reference we have, if formula or equation. Um, it's easier to use the table because, or, or, the, or the graph because of the factorial difficulty of calculation or summation. So the maximum number of subscribers in a cell maximum number of subscribers in a cell. Now we are done with the second part and in traffic intensity. We will divide the traffic intensity, the total traffic, by the number, the traffic per user. So 90 from here divided by 0 0.03, I get 3,000 maximum number of subscribers per cell. And since we have 30 cells, we'll multiply 30 by 3,000, I get 90,000 subscribers in this area. So the maximum number of active users the maximum number of active users, if you divide the total number of instantaneous um, number number of, uh, of users per cell, so the, the maximum number of users is 330, three, three, that's the maximum number, compared with the total number of subscribers, which is 90,000. Those are subscribed to company, they have the package, but they are not going to be active at the same time. So the maximum that we can support is 3.6% of the total subscribers. That, that may look as a small number, 
but knowing the statistics help you overbook the system and design the system properly. So although we can support 3,300 at, at one given time, we are selling our package to 90,000 users because we know that how much traffic they have and they are only, uh, we know our, our capability and our grade of service. So that's great. We'll look at other examples. Uh, just to conclude, the number of subscribers per channel, number of subscribers per channel will be, of course, 90,000 divided by 770, which is the total number of voice channels, and you get 170. You can do all type of calculations as you like. Now, this is a practice system, practice example. If you followed what we did before, please pause the video now and try to do this yourself. That's similar to what we had before, and it's a chance to prove to yourself that you got the idea right. So please pause the video now and try to find the answer. Give yourself five to ten minutes and get back to the video. Okay, I'm going to, of course, now to give the answer. So there is no point of waiting. You can just pause the video yourself. The surface area is 1,300 square miles. N equal to seven, R equal to four miles. The total system bandwidth is 40 megahertz. It's a full duplex system with 60 kilohertz bandwidth for the channel. Traffic per user is 0 0.03 Erlang, and the requested grade of surface is now 0 0.02. Find the maximum number of users that can be served at one time, traffic intensity of each cell, maximum number of subscribers that can be supported within this grade of service, maximum number of active users relative to the total number of subscribers. So please, if you haven't done this, pause the video now and time to try yourself. Once you, see, once you see the answers, they would look simple. But the point is that you do it now, because this is a practice. Okay, here is the answer. Cell area is 41.57 square miles. Number of cells, we divide the total area by the, the area of one cell. We got 31 now. Number of channels, divide 40 megahertz by 60 kilohertz. And I got 66.66. So, so that would be repeated every seven cells. And if you divide the number by seven, you get 95. So this does not have to be an a integer number. So the number of channels per cell is approximately 95. And uh, to answer the, the, the first question, I will get 95 channels multiplied by 31 uh, cells. That will give you 2,945 uh, active user at one time. So this is the answer to the first part. Traffic intensity. Okay, the traffic intensity, we need to use the Erlang formula. Erlang B formula. We have the number of channels, 95, and then probability blockage 0.02. I read 84 from the curve. Maximum number of subscribers in the cell, 84 divided. This is the total traffic divided by the traffic per user. I get uh, 2,800. The maximum number of system subscribers, this is per cell, I need to multiply by the total, uh, the total number of uh, uh, cells that we have, and that would be 86,800. Maximum number of active users, uh, or percentage of active users, would be 2945 divided by the total number, that's 3.39% of the total subscribers. So that would be the relative maximum number of active users relative to the total number of subscribers. That's 3.39%. Now, this example is different because now we're dealing with Erlang C formula, with, with queuing. So we're given here that N equal to 4, R equal to the radius equal to 1.387, the total voice channel is 60, AU equal to point, the, the, the traffic per user is 0.029, the arrival rate or the call rate, request rate is one call per hour. The grade of service is five, uh, five um, percent. How many users per kilometer square the system can support? The probability or a delayed call will will wait for more than ten seconds. The probability a call will will be delayed more than uh, uh, more than ten seconds. What's the difference between these questions? First one is saying what if a delayed call? It's already delayed. It's a given. It's a fact. Will, will wait more than 10 seconds. And the next question is about it that a call will be, any call would be delayed more than 10 seconds. So these are two different questions. Okay, now the area of the cell, the total area is five kilometers square. Okay, we're using kilometers here. Nice. 
And now uh, the number of channels per cell is 60 divided by 4, 4 here. Uh, and then I got um, I got uh, 15, 15. That's the total. That's the total voice channels per cluster. So uh, we have uh, from Erlang C formula. I have a the total traffic would be 15. Okay, that's the total traffic. The, the total, sorry, the total number of channels, and we have the total number of channels per cell, and the probability of being de delayed. I got nine Erlang from the curve. Supported number of users in a cell. So we know the total traffic. We know the traffic per user. We divide them. We get 310. That's a, the, the number of, of users in a cell. Number of users per kilometer square. So we know that one cell is five kilometers. I know that the number of users is 310. So I divide 310 by 5, I get 62. Um, so if we are asked to find the number of users per area, we can find the number of users per cell, and then we know how much area in a cell, like we did here. So we get 62 per kilometer square. So this is the answer to the first part. To find the probability of being delayed, lambda is 1. We can find h by solving. You know that au equal to uh, lambda times h, so we can re reverse that and find h. And well, that would be um, 0.029 hours, which is which is one, which is equivalent to 104.4 seconds. Now, the probability of being delayed more than 10 seconds, given that it's delayed, uh, I just recall the expression here from my previous slides. I don't memorize this. This is the expression here. So we know C. Okay, we know A. And we know the time of the delay, so I just start substituting. We just found H. So plug in C, okay? And we have also A. So number of channels per cell is 15. We know A, okay? And we know that we know the traffic. We know also, uh, we found A here to be 9 Erlang. We know T is the time that's given in the question 10 seconds and h is the holding time bones uh, so you just make sure that all the units are the same and we get 56.29 percent or 0.5629 that more than half of the calls are going to be delayed more than 10 seconds given that they are delayed but now if you ask a question what's the point of being delayed then the number drops dramatically because now we're just dealing with we need to multiply by the point of being delayed so that is 0 0.05 times 0 0.0656. Point of being delayed, if you substitute in this expression, you get 0 0.05, and that's given from the grade of service. So this is given in the question. We don't need to calculate it because we solve accordingly. So that would be 2.8. So it's true that if the call de being delayed, it's going to be delayed more than 10 seconds, more than half of the time. But to start with, the chance of being delayed to start with is relatively low, which is 5%. And this is why the total probability of being delayed more than 10 seconds is relatively low.